First of all, I don't care about the quality of my videos, blah, blah, blah. I'm just sending out the message. A very sad event occurred just a few nights ago at a Denny's on Dyer Street in El Paso, Texas. I arrived about 10, 15 after 4 in the morning. And I used to frequent this Denny's back in the day when I lived in El Paso in the 80s. Used to be full to the brim every night of the week. Full of people and vibrant. And, and used to be four or five waitresses there. It was a wonderful place. I went in, in there this time, and there was nobody there but a, a row of cops and one person. The restaurant was empty. I couldn't believe it. And I spoke to the waitress, who, by the way, has worked there since 1973, one of the oldest waitresses in all of Denny's. I asked her, why is it like this? What has happened? She pointed right at the cops without hesitation and said, them. They terrorize people late at night. They pass out tickets frivolously. These poor people around here have warrants for the arrest for frivolous things. And the cops have scared them away. And we don't have business because of them. And she pointed right at them, right in front of them. And the funny thing is when I walked in, both of those cops at the table nearest me looked at me like I had invaded their living room. Like I didn't even belong there. The, it was the ugliest thing I had ever seen. So here we go again. People. Late night places, malls, airports. These are the front lines of the testing grounds of the new fascist state, and they're going to keep branching outward until one day the word lockdown is going to be in your daily vocabulary. Shame on you, El Paso. I moved here because I thought you were better than this. Apparently, you are not.